So guys, along with the theme of what I'm trying to do at SHOT Show this year is bring to you technological advances, more than just another AR-15 goodie. We're looking around finding the things that are truly changing the environment we live in, kind of talking about the cyberpunk future brought to our reality today. That's exactly what we're here at today. We're at the Quantico Tactical booth, and this is like an advanced warfighter type system. This is an incredible integration of network, computer, smartphone, and heads-up display augmented reality that provides the modern soldier, well-equipped soldier, for functionality that was Dream, literally dreamt about only maybe a couple years ago. So I'm gonna take the camera here in a minute, I'm gonna walk you through how the system works, and then we're gonna try and get you some footage from behind the heads-up display to give you an idea of what they're actually seeing out in the field. We talked to one of the veterans here today and he said they wish he had had this, but when they were out in the field, they were actually on a training exercise and he was looking through the heads-up display and there were men jumping out of an aircraft, sticks, right? And he's looking up and not only could he see the dots of each individual soldier coming down to land on the earth, if he focused on particular soldiers, it would actually give him the information and intel about which soldier that was, who it was, and their current condition. Let's go through the system and then try to get you some view through the heads-up display. So here we have a make a prop of what this soldier would be dealing with, and at this point he does have his night vision optic here, and they are actually projecting the heads-up display in this instance into the actual optic. Since the focus is ahead, he doesn't see this in front of him, but he does see the heads-up display. So in night vision mode, he's actually getting his waypoints, information about the soldiers around him, even like necessarily buildings that they've marked in their app, which is simply done with nothing more than a standard hardened iPhone. So this is an app running on here. They can actually pre-mission or change it in mission, go into this app and dictate waypoints, and this will give them tracking data of where to move on the earth, night or day, as well as designate buildings, red one, red two, blue one, blue two. And while they're moving, the heads-up display will provide an augmented reality view of that combat environment and show them what building they're looking at, as well as the soldiers in the vicinity around them. So for example, uh, soldier 1 goes into building red 1, this will actually tell them they're in building red 1, and if the GPS can't update that soldier's information at that time because they lose GPS coordinates, it will at least give them last known location. But at any rate, this is all powered off of the, the soldier's power unit, so you can see this is the heads-up display, and of course this very smart helmet here, which is then running a power lead down into the back, into the battery backup system here. And this is all run off of this unit here, which is the actual computing device, which talks to an in theater network system. Now, he said that that in-theater network system was classified information, we can't talk about that, but it's not going all the way up to a satellite or back to, to the United States, it's actually staying within theater to keep the latency down for those important pieces of information. So, for example, if a soldier is moving to red one, you want to know that's happening now, not later. So latency is a very important thing. So let's go ahead and go into the heads-up display and see if we can get you some footage about what it looks like to be using this unit. All right, so I probably look like a nerdy goofball right now, but in my heads-up display, I can actually see two waypoints to my left. I can see my currently facing direction, and as I move, it's actually showing me the waypoints changing in a 360-degree arc around me. My current GPS coordinates, and I've been told you can set other settings, and it will tell you other things in this heads-up display. This is very non-intrusive. I can go ahead and look through it, and if I was aiming through a red point or something like a dot, a red dot or something like that through my optic, this would not be in the way as well as giving me indication of other soldiers using this unit in my theater of operations. Drake, check your camera. There might be some sort of malfunction. Yeah, that's a lot better. Thanks. 